Trace, check upstairs. Make sure we're alone. Noah, you on lookout. Holy shit. Shooter, we made it. Not bad. Badass little bro. Not bad for your first job. Check it, it ain't over till we get through the border, you feel me? Look here. Stash this cash just in case we get caught. Bobby? What was that noise? I tripped. We're all clear. I ditched the van. Jesus! Fuck, man! Van's down by the junkyard. It's about a quarter mile away. Where the hell's Bobby? I told him stash the cash. He'll be back in a minute. What do you mean, stash it? Where's the goddamn money? You tell your brother to unstash a fifth of that cash right fucking now! Bobby! We, what happened? We, we gotta get out of here. Where's the money? They didn't get it. What happened? What are you talking about? There's something down there. Where's the Get money? the fuck up! I put it in there. Bobby! Bobby! What the fuck? No. Trey. Trey, you okay? Trey.
finish fast. I have to get to work. Still got almost three minutes. My truck's too high for anyone to save. No. Had you just done it while I was driving like I told you to, we wouldn't be having this problem now, would we? You are absolutely unbelievable. Just fucking do it! No. <clears throat> do it! You just made the biggest mistake of your life! <clears throat> Where I just came from, any little gump in the yard could have turned you out. You don't want to go around with me, boy. I need that steak and eggs, table six, five minutes ago. What can I help you with? You got a restroom? Sure. Oh my God, sure. What happened to mom. your face? Don't mom me. Tell me what happened. I'm fine. I'm saying. Bathroom's around the corner. Look, at least let me get some ice to put on it. Okay, can you leave me alone? Made up nice. Here's your change. Oh no, keep the change. Oh, thank you. You'll be okay. Got the rest to stay. Apparently, this gentleman is a good Samaritan, Remo. I think we'll be okay. Really nice what you did out there. Thank you. Lunch is on the house today. I appreciate that, and I will definitely take a rain check. But uh, I was wondering if you could give me a little more information about this job here. Oh, that's a big commitment, that one. I don't think you want to tackle that. Yeah, that place is a shithole. Watch your language. Well, I'm sure it isn't mine. Just got a prison. Sorry, I heard you say something about the yard. I did some time. When? I got out yesterday. Hey, uh, you guys got any beer here? Does that root beer? Anything for grown-ups? Coffee. That works. Great. Can you get him a cup of coffee? Yeah. Thanks. So, you got family around here? Nope. Just looking for work. Can I use your phone? I'll tell you what. For what you did for Sherry, how about you at least let me get you a piece of pie to go with that coffee? Then I can give Father John a call for you. Put in a good word. He's the owner of the place. I appreciate that. Make yourself at home. Thank you.
What you gonna do when you get out of here? Besides getting laid. Ain't like you got a whole lot of options. Sometimes you gotta throw the battle to win the war. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, boy. Boy. Now, you better have a very good reason for laying your hands on my own son. I'm just not keen on guys who smack around young ladies. Ask the girl inside with the ice pack. She'll give you all the details. Have a good one. Wait a minute. My boy's blade, that's a family heirloom. I guess I'm gonna have to start a family. Hello? I'm guessing you're the fellow that's looking for a job. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt. Nah, don't worry about them. A couple of businessmen talking about making an investment. I'm John. Crimson Matthews. Crimson Matthews. Crimson's an interesting name. Jenna, the diner called you Father John. You a priest? Guilty. I am the shepherd of this little town. Janet the Diner also tells me you were recently released from the services of the state. Is that going to be a problem? Nah. See, I figure it's what's on the inside of a man that counts anyway, right? <laughs> Why don't you take a look inside? See if you're up for the job. What exactly do you want done in here and how much you're paying? Well, assuming I hire you on, pay is 400 bucks a week. Plus, you get to stay here, rent-free. Uh, here. Delightful. Yeah. I need you to clean the old girl up a little bit. I'm going to hire a professional crew to come in, do the electrical, the plumbing, the carpets, things like that. You get her nice and clean, a couple coats of paint, that ought to do the job. Uh, give me a week and a uh, ton of bleach and... See if you like my work. I promise you, it can't get any worse than it already is. Hey, hey, hey. She can hear you, you know. What a shit. All right, I'll give you a week. Come on out. Musty in there. All right. Here is $400 in advance and 500 for supplies. I warn you, there is electricity, but it's ornery, just like the rest of the old girl. So be careful. You said supplies. I'm on foot. Oh, well, no problem. Use my truck. I do need a ride into town, though. Is there a basement, some place that I can put the tools? Well, not really. There were servants' quarters out back, a bunch of tunnels that led to the basement. Once they started to cave in, we just filled in the whole business. There's a door inside, but it's been locked up permanently. Uh, how recent did that happen? About a decade. Why? I appreciate the job. I figure you can give the old girl a second chance at life. I can do the same thing for you. Thank you. Absolutely. You drive. Man, come on. 
Can we just go home? No way. I'm tired of Donnie winning every year, especially when he talks about how many chicks he nails over there. Look at this place, Tommy. Nobody lives here. Hello? Hello? We'd like a moment of your time to talk about God. Yeah, that always works. Can we just leave, man? I hear something. You want to go check around back? Hello? Is anybody there? So, I heard you got the job. I got a week to prove myself anyway. Thanks for putting in a good word. It's the least I could do for you. So, you're sticking around. Uh, at least for dinner. I was hoping for a sandwich or something. Hamburgers and coffee? Perfect. So, what's with this Father John? Priest, slumlord, real estate baron? I mean, there were two pretty swanky investors up there when I showed up earlier today. He's the benefactor. Basically the glue that holds this town together since the mill closed down. I got behind on my lease here a couple years ago. He loaned me money, no questions asked. Hmm. Tell him about Ray. Uh, crazy guy? What about him? He owned the mill. His wife, Annie, was the prettiest gal in town. Yeah, he lived in the house you're fixing up before I was born. Really? Yeah. When the mill closed, Ray was ruined. His wife Annie got real sick about the time Father John came to town. If it hadn't have been for him paying their mortgage, their hospital bills, until Annie died, I don't know what Ray would have done. Well, it doesn't look like he's paying his bills anymore. <sighs> he just doesn't like taking handouts from people on him. He went downhill fast once his wife died. So this Father John, has he had money for a quarter while? No, he's always been generous. But no one really knows where it came from. Probably a rich family, maybe. So. We closed the night at eight, but I'm not opposed to a man buying me dinner. I didn't think there was another restaurant in this town. Well, no, but I was thinking maybe we could have steaks at my place. Steaks at my place. No one says no to that. Ray! Ray! No! Ray. no. I'm so sorry. Oh, come on, Ray. Just sit, just sit down. No harm, no foul. Maybe some other time. Thanks for this. Okay. See you around.
three years we've been cellmates. Yeah. Not once have you asked why I'm here. If you wanted me to know, you would have told me. It seems this is our last game. I figure it's time. I got a big favor to ask you, bro. Yes. Well, good morning. I'm glad to see that you're still here. We brought you breakfast. Oh, hey, thanks. I'm actually just on my way out. Oh, well, I would have given you a call, but I didn't have your number. Gonna get a cell phone today? That's just one of my errors. Oh, well, my number's on the donuts. Where do you sleep? Upstairs. He should stay with us. You could sleep on our couch. Yes. I can't imagine a person wanting to stay at a place like this. It must be full of critters. As a matter of fact, I'm off to buy Rodent Killer as we speak. Oh, well, the offer still stands. Yep. Bye. Bye. So how much extra cash will it take to get one without the waiting period? Look, mister. Crimson. It's Crimson. Crimson. I can't sell your gun here. Not without observing all the laws. And wouldn't it violate your parole anyway? Fucking small towns. You know where I can find a track phone? You got here fast? When you call, I ride. Besides, you big son of a bitch. <laughs> I heard you just got out. Awesome, man. I was kind of thinking, though, you were going to come straight into the city, though. I got some shit to take care of. Mm. Don't take too long, man. Some people are already starting to wonder where you are. I bet. You bring me something? Yeah, I got something for you.
And you don't want to go to war without this. And I had a feeling you were gonna get kind of bloody, so I brought you two. Thanks, brother. Make them bleed, my brother. But don't tell anybody where you got that shit from. You sure you're not gonna need any help? Nah, this one's for a friend. But what's in it for you this time? <laughs> Ain't all right. I got it. I'm out of here. <clears throat> See you on the other side, motherfucker. Sweetheart. Fine. Say, I talked to my dunderhead boy. He just feels terrible for that little fight you all had. Are you trying to tell me that I deserve it? Oh, no, no. Why would I do that? That'd be, that'd be totally inappropriate. I tell you, though, while I got your attention, I would like to mention that uh, you, your mom, you're cozying up to this new guy in town, and well, you know as well as I do, he ain't going to be around for long. You know what I mean? No, what does that mean? Well, it means I, I done looked him up. I mean, he's done a lot of bad things to a lot of bad people. Now, that ain't so bad. They're all bad, who cares? But some of the people, they end up gone, missing, dead. I just hate to see you be part of that collateral damage, your pretty little face, you know? I think I can make my own choice about the company I keep. You know, in this town, we all like to take care of our own. Best you and your mom remember that. Got it. Call the boy. He's broken hearted.
Yeah, that's how it's done, bitches. <laughs> that's how it's done. This is a lie, Jordan. I'm not even lying. 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 I'm not even So you were the little shits here last night, too, huh? You got 10 seconds to get the fuck out of my house. Oh, your house, huh? Who the fuck you think you're talking to, huh, bitch? Do you think you're fucking tough with that gun? Huh? Fuck it's it's all these little shits in this town. Is he speaking for all of you? Because if he is, I'm wasting you all on principle alone. No, no. Joe's a fucking idiot. He doesn't run shit but his mouth. We're not even from here. No, we met this kid downtown. Uh, his name Tony. was uh, Tony. Tony, yeah, he said that we should come party here. We didn't know. No, he, he didn't say anyone lived here. Little shit. He said to here last night, too, didn't he? We weren't here last night. I swear. Get out now. guys like it was nothing. They got Bobby. They got my little brother, man. See, but I was lucky. I ran like hell. But I wasn't thinking straight. Ran straight out of town. Right into a state trooper. With my picture sitting on his passenger seat. What'd you tell him? I told him what any brother would tell him. I told him to fuck off. <laughs> nah, man, but I didn't. Want that cop to go find that money in that basement. Money my brother died for. So I told him. My guys turned on me. Took the cash. Headed straight for the border. Sounds believable. See, but that's where you come in. You've been like a brother to me. Look. Three million dollars in that basement. Find it before somebody else does. I want you to find those motherfuckers and fuck them up real good. You feel me? You do that. Half is yours. That I can do. Look, whatever's in there is for real. But hear me on this. Shit go bad. I need you to bounce. Look, man. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice the queen and win the war.
you drop that gun, boy. And the backpack. Officer, look. That's Sheriff. Fine, Sheriff. Oh, you forget where you are. You're in my town. Now, here's what I want you to do. Just so we all know what's what. Why don't you put your hands on your head and get down on your knees? A little faster, I think. On your knees. That's good. Now, I've been getting some noise complaints around here. You know anything about that, boy? I really wouldn't go in there if I were you. No. You make a mess in there? You really had to be there. I bet you're right. The eyes of the windows to the soap. I don't ah. need my windows washed, Ray. Don't let them steal your windows. Put your shirt back on, Ray. Go home. Go home! Father John? Hello?
First, I thought you were a federal officer of some kind, or maybe an undercover cop. Come here to shut us down. But, lucky for me, you are nothing more than a common criminal. A criminal of low intelligence and vainglorious pride. A blight on all decent society. I thought it was inside that counts. Oh. It is. No! 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 Oh, we get all kinds in here, Mr. Matthews, vagrants. Children looking for places to hold their sex and drugs parties. It's just awful. Bible salesman. Bible salesman. Yeah, in fact, you're not the first criminal we've had bless our halls, my friend. I seem to recall several years ago, an entire group of criminals came here and used these glorious walls of hers to hold up and hide the spoils of their recent robbery activity. He found the money. Yeah, we found the money. That very night, we found the money. How else do you suppose we're able to afford the upgrade to our beautiful new facility? Facility for what? Oh, you would be shocked to find out how many lucrative and wonderful ways there are to make money in this modern age, my friend. Do you know, Mr. Matthews, that if you were to harvest each saleable component, kidneys, liver, marrow, blood, that every human body is worth potentially nearly $45 million? Huh? Consider this, a gram of bone marrow is worth more than $20,000, a kidney more than $200,000. Now, admittedly, it is a little tricky creating a steady supply, but with the help of some of Chesterton's more desperate residents, we do manage to make it work. You'd be amazed at how far these people have gone to save their town. So I'm betting you ain't really a preacher. No, on the contrary, my friend. Romans 12, verse 1. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. You see, I merely allow people to give as God wishes. And I make a whole ass load of money at it. What the hell's he doing now? Oh, I doubt he's doing anything more than operating the cameras. You see, my clientele for his particular genre of filmmaking is somewhat esoteric. That's probably one or more of his creation's sexual appetites at play, which brings me to you. You see, at first, I had hoped that even with your life of debauchery, you would at least have taken good enough care of yourself to be worth a few thousand dollars to me. But when I heard of how you fought off one of Danny's pets, how could I possibly resist adding you to the collection? Oh! So close. 
You have such great strength. You may actually take longer to break than the others, but you will break. Everyone breaks. Fuck you. You know the very best way to begin breaking a man is by taking away the very thing that makes him one. Oh, oh. Deuteronomy 23, verse 1. No man, having been emasculated or had his male organs cut off, shall be allowed to enter into the assembly of God. Oh. Denny? Really, Denny? Get up. Get up. They are loose. They are loose. This little hobby of yours is making you very, very careless, Denny. Now, pay close attention, okay? Ah, fucking attention! Ah, ah, I haven't taught you everything I know about pain. Now take care of the problem. Get up the stairs! Get up the stairs! Come on, get going! Don't look back, get going. We gotta get out of this tunnel. Get going. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Find them up there. You come here, you. You get over here. Now you find them. And if you disfigure one more body, you are gonna be the one praying for death. Here's what's happening. You stick to the woods, you do not go on the road, and you talk to no one. You find your mom, and you get your asses out of this twisted shithole. You understand me? Okay, let's go. 
Let's go. Not us, you. What? Look, all these assholes gotta do is call the state police. I just killed two people, including my best friend's brother. Plus, they're probably laying at least six other murders on me as we speak. I gotta get the hell out of here and be gone for the rest of my life. Not to mention the fact that my old cellmate is gonna be one pissed off son of a bitch when he finds out his three million dollars is gone with me. Oh, fuck! This is about money? What email did you miss? I'm not a good guy, kid. The money's gone. I'm fucked. I got no reason for being here. So have a nice whatever. Look, just find your mom and get out of here. Okay. You can't just leave me here! Please! I'm so sorry, baby. All you had to do was mind your own business. But what? I'm here should have taught you. You never look a gift horse in the mouth. Who the hell you think pays for all this? What are you talking about? You little shit. You know how this town works. Time to go. Hey, boys. Jesus! Preaching the cops. Real names, phone numbers, friends and family. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. See, I don't think you understand. I get this whole thing about revenge. No! Fuck you. <laughs> These, they don't heal real well. Anything coming back to you yet? Okay, okay. They're in charge of the inventory. How long? Christ, I don't know. A decade, maybe more. Hey, look. Yeah, I'll make you a deal. I'll cut you in, dude. Look, we're on our way to a pickup right now. Check my phone, it's in my pocket. Uh. Uh. Gosh, dude. What am I looking for? I looked for one from earlier today. From uh, Abraham Isaacs. That's your buddy John's business pseudonym. She 
could be worth a lot of money to a guy like you. Hey, you've got a four million. Yeah. <laughs> four million? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Four million? Yeah. Four. <laughs> several more years of life. 10, 15, 20. There is no way in hell that you could possibly accomplish what you are going to accomplish in this one single day in this room. Fuck you. You know that is exactly what I thought you would say. I was prepared for it. I can read you like a book. Interesting anesthetic I think you may find fascinating. Would you like to know about it? Sure, you do. <laughs> Second choline. Now I could go into a rather long, potentially boring technical description of exactly what it does, but suffice it to say, what it does best is it induces paralysis. <gasps> Paralysis means you can't move, not a muscle. But sadly, what it does not do is it does not block any of the pain responders, nor does it render the patient unconscious. It makes it so the patient, you, is wide awake, fully aware, able to enjoy each and every moment of each and every procedure, or, as in your case, procedures. You know, Sherry, you have been to me one glorious pain in my ass. And those beautiful eyes have seen way too much. So I think it's only fair that we start with those beautiful eyes. <laughs> Timothy, chapter 15, verse 13. There is no greater love than any man or woman who is willing to give her life for her friends. I really hate assholes that quote the Bible. Oh, shit, let's get out of here. Tony. Your father, we got some trouble at the house. I want you to get on the phone and you get everyone over here. Do you hear me? You get everyone! Hey, what about Denny? Well, what about Denny? I'll take care of this. 
You just get through the tunnel. Come on, get out of here. Come on, get out of here. Greg Hoffman, probably your mama, sealing this house up good and tight. Now you gotta ask yourself a question. If you get by me, how are you ever gonna get by them? Going nowhere. John, are you all right? I don't know. I'm having trouble breathing. I think maybe one of my books are wrong. Give me the give me the knife. Give me the knife. You don't want to hurt yourself. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is bad. I tell you. I'm thinking we maybe need to dissolve our relationship. I mean, you gotta think, who could that man have told? Who could she have told? I I think we just gotta yeah, cut our voice. We, we gotta pack up and move somewhere else, but don't worry. Now we have the resources. 
Not we, John. You feel that? Seventy thirty, my ass. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Girl, come on! Hey, hey. Fucking move! I twist her pretty little fucking head off! Stop! Stop. Can you fucking move. Tony! Tony, it's your father! Yeah, Dad, go ahead. Change plans. You come in here and you tear this motherfucker to pieces. My pleasure. Everyone stay back and make sure no one gets out. Billy, you're coming with me. <laughs> Fucking kill him! Sherry dropped this in her car. I already doubt it. All you have to do is press send. Yes, I need to be put through the state police.
second move. bodies of four people and partial remains of countless more in what law enforcement officials are calling one of the most gruesome organ harvesting operations. <laughs> And that's it, huh? Yep. I think I'll be okay. Probably just... Hey. It's better I don't know. So where are you gonna go? It's better if I don't know. Here. Take it. I don't know. A lot. I can't. No. You earned it. Spend it wisely. Use it to get as far away from here as you can. Thank you. You're welcome. Now get out of here, kid. Getting choked up. To get the hell out of here, kid. I'll see you again. Grams of Matthews. Don't count on it. Shooter, you got mail. This wouldn't be any weapon of mass destruction or contraband being introduced to my penitentiary, now would it? Sure hope not. I'd hate to see you lose your good standing with the National Honor Society of Convicted Felons and Inmates. Enjoy your literature.